knock out the square. But I want you to move around the square. Yeah? And you're not staying in the same spot. Yeah, move it around the square. Every, every time you throw a punch, step in, knock out. Up the way. One, two. Okay, so on this journey to my white collar boxing match, uh, I've realised I'm not naturally very good at boxing. So what I've done is come to Nottingham to meet former IBO welterweight champion, seven times defence of the title, Jarway Tusli Kalik. Let's meet the man himself. Do you want to tell us a bit about your um, career as a boxer? Where did it start? Well, um, I started boxing when I was just leaving school. Uh, a new gym opened in, uh, in the area. It was quite a rough neighbourhood, you know, it's really um, bad reputation, a lot yeah. of trouble there. And I went down just to get a little bit of self-defence and, uh, and just fell in love with boxing. Um, I started boxing within a few months after I joined the club. Yeah. And, uh, and I was winning most of my fights, doing really well. Uh, all my friends stopped going and I just kept carrying on and uh, never expected, uh, you know, to achieve what I have. Well, I won the ABAs in 1996, mm. uh, it seems so long ago now. And, uh, and from there, I decided, you know, I, I want to turn professional. I want to see how I can do. Um, I got selected for England very soon after that. Had a couple of fights, and uh, and I thought, nice no, now or never, turn professional. And, uh, and I was at the same stable as uh, Prince Nassim Ahmed. Um, and uh, within a couple of fights, I got offers to box on Sky Sports uh, against some of the top guys. I wasn't expected to win. It was a kind of a, a short notice fight where they were trying to use my name because I didn't have the big promoters behind me, um, but. I uh, upset a couple of them guys and I thought, you know, I can definitely do something. I, I saw that I had a bit of ability. I didn't have that much belief in myself, I think, at the beginning. I was always a bit of a shy, nervous fighter. But from there, I realised, you know, I can, I can do it. And um, I just, just worked really hard and, and started believing in myself. Got my chances for the eight, two area titles, uh, won them. And then the in WBF Intercontinental and, uh, and then the Commonwealth title. Uh, and, and then I got the chance for the world title. Um, had a, had a really brilliant run. We defended it seven times. Went to Denmark, France, and South Africa, which was probably one of my one of my best wins. Uh, fought a former world champion um, in Johannesburg, in his hometown. Um, again, I wasn't expected to win. I think they brought us over there to lose the and, and him to get his to get the title. Um, it was a it was an up and down fight where I was down twice. He was down three times. And, uh, and it really, really, really made me, I think. And, uh, and it got me that, into that position where I was close to fighting the big, big names, the, 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 the uh, Mosley's and uh, Vernon Forrest, who was the champions at the time. Just, uh, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. And uh, um, I decided to retire as champion, which, um, which was probably the next best thing. And, uh, and here I am now coaching. Yeah, well, I mean, there's not much more you could achieve, is there really? I mean, the world title <laughs> is pretty... I think, I think everybody wants to test themselves and be one of the best in the world. Right. You know, getting a world title is, all, is good. Yeah. You know, I never expected that, and it's always a, was a dream, like any boxer, I think, or in any sport, you, you want to right. reach the top. Um, but there's always that, 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 that niggle inside thinking, would I have beaten him or would I have done well against him, against the top names? Um, not long after I retired, I got people asking me to do classes for them. I started a few classes. Um, people heard about it, people in the council, people that I knew, they started saying, oh, can you do classes for the troubled areas and, uh, and, and for kids that are a little out of control? Uh, it sort of um, appeals to them kind of kids uh, and, and it gives them a bit of discipline and some direction. And I started that, went really well, and I, I, was, I was really busy going through all different areas and I thought, you know, it'd be, I've always wanted my own gym, it'd be nice to have my base where people can come to me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I was lucky I found a little place and we started our gym. We get all sorts of people, you know, um, we've got young kids from five up to 50, 60 year olds um, that want to just get fit, they want to lose weight and want to compete. So everybody's welcome here. It's not just for boxers. Um, so we've got it open for anybody, in the, the whole of the community and, uh, and it's worked really well at the moment. So anybody's welcome. And how does boxing as a sport fitness wise compared to other ways of getting I fit? Think, I think most people that have, have tried it, they know it's one of the, one of the hardest, one of the toughest and, uh, and it's right up there, you know, it, it works the whole body. It's not just the body, it's the mind, it's everything. I think mean, most sports at the top level are pretty tough, but this is very, very intense and uh, it's the best way I think to get fit, to lose weight and, uh, and just feel good about yourself. So do you get many people coming purely just get me in oh, shape? Yeah. Oh yeah, we get a lot of people that come that don't want to fight. They just want to 
Um, they just come there, they, they enjoyed the training, they said, oh, we've never had anything like this. It's okay going to the gyms and just going on the cross trainer on a bike yeah. or, or running machine. But you can't motivate yourself, you can't push yourself. Here we, we have a class that is we're all working together. It's almost like a private session in a group. Mm -hmm. And we sort of tell them what to do and, and they just love it. And mm -hmm. they love it. And there's no, there's no pressure of having to um, compete or fight. They can enjoy themselves and just relax, you know. So let's now get a few tips. Um, I've got this fight coming up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A bit nervous about it. I really enjoy it, but I'm not a natural. Now when you're moving that way, you're doing it. Yeah, one, that's the worst way you can move. The fitness regime, what would be, well, in the run-up to the IBO fights, what would um, be a typical week for you, roughly? I think, I think most mornings, um, we'll go to the gym, we'll do, we'll do a run. Um, usually, I used to run some, a lot of the time before my training, and then come and train afterwards. Um, it might be six, eight rounds on the bags, skipping, um, pad work sparring it can be and then circuit most 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 sessions i'd finish off with a circuit um and then have a few hours break maybe come back to the gym do an, a, another session uh, it could be another technical technical se session or it could be sparring uh, and then rest in the evening you know occasionally i might have a third session but most of the time it was just two sessions and that'd be um, every that day would, that would be six days a week you know every day um there's a day you might be sparring eight ten rounds and you get absolutely battered the next day you come in with a sore nose and you think, oh, you know, I can't even do this. But yeah. as you warm into it, and, and that sort of mentally toughens you up as well, more than, uh, as well as physical, yeah. you know, because boxing is a lot more mental than it is physical. Um, the top guy sort of will, know, will, will tell you that. Yeah. yeah. What's your favourite punch? My favourite punch um, is probably my jab. It's, uh, it's helped me a lot. It's helped me win fights, uh, keeps an opponent away from you, sets up the big power shots. Um, and... Uh, and, and can be a brilliant, brilliant punch. Obviously, it's quite a controversial sport, boxing, yeah, because yeah. you are hurting people. Yeah. How do you feel? Is there a sense of guilt afterwards, or is it that just the sport, that's the rules? I think, I think um, at the time, a lot of people get a bit of a buzz out of it. I was always a bit too nice, and, and I used to feel a bit guilty, and I used to feel a bit bad when, I, when I'd hit people. But uh, when they hit you back, you sort of just want to go and attack them. But yeah, it is, it is a contact sport, and, and I don't think any boxer intentionally wants to hurt the opponent. I think it's just the nature of the sport where um, the adrenaline is pumping and you're, you're going for each other. And, uh, and, and yes, we are trying to hear, hit, knock each other out, but nobody wants to, because uh, they know the, 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 what, what, what the outcomes can be and how dangerous the sport is for themselves and the opponent. So I think most boxers have the respect and they don't want to hurt the opponent. What sort of uh, regime would you recommend in terms of training? Um, um, I think for the white collar, the main thing is to be fit. Make sure you're fit because it's a very fast-paced uh, fight. Any 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 um, two-minute round fight is very very fast, and you have to be really really super super fit. It's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> but if you have a little bit of boxing um, ability as well, it makes it a bonus. So if you just work on footwork and your basic and your and your jab, keeping an opponent away from you, try not to get involved in the mm -hmm. fight. Uh, as much as we say this, it, it always becomes a fight in a sense. You know, you just start swinging. Um, most people do when, 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 when they've got the white collars. Um, but a lot of the white collar haven't got that much experience. So if you just work on your jab and a little bit of footwork, keeping away from, from getting hit, um, it makes a massive difference.